So in partial equilibrium, we've already talked about in the previous chapter that competition maximizes welfare. And so when we said that, what we meant was that when we look at the competitive equilibrium, that the allocation, so the quantity produced, is such that the total welfare, which is the sum of producer and consumer surplus, is maximized. But this is a concept that really only makes sense when you're looking at just the one good. So how do we make this kind of a statement, the, the analogous statement, when we look at general equilibrium? This is a little bit more complicated to make a statement to this effect. So what we're going to do is to use a simpler notion of efficiency. <clears throat> We're going to say that an allocation of goods is Pareto efficient if there's no way to reallocate these goods in a way that makes at least one person better off without making anyone worse off. Or maybe a simpler way to say this, which is in this context uh, turns out to be equivalent, is that there's no reallocation of the goods. So an allocation of the goods is efficient if there's no way to reallocate the goods in a way that makes everybody better off. Right? Now this is a pretty minimal standard of efficiency. Um, what it doesn't do is it doesn't trade off between uh, who's, who's gaining from the trade. Um, so much like the notions of welfare that we discussed earlier, um, it doesn't really have any notions of equity built into it. Um, but what we can say is that if you don't meet this minimal standard for efficiency, then that's a pretty bad allocation, right? Because there would be a way, if, if your allocation isn't even Pareto efficient, that means that there's a way to make every single person better off. And so that initial allocation is not a very good one. So that's what we're going to use as our uh, concept of efficiency to make a similar statement and we'll, when we get to it a little in a little bit.